in 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do because I still haven't moved the furniture. I still haven't moved the furniture because I'm a lazy and um, honestly, I thought I had way more time than this. I thought they were gonna come like towards the end of the day. No, they're coming thir like 30 minutes earlier. They're coming in 15 minutes. The aquarium is coming in 15 minutes. Ah! Like I'm excited and nervous and I don't really know what to anticipate. So what what did I get myself into y'all? I don't even know. The aquarium arrives in 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure the tank is here. Could we place it here? Uh, we can. Uh, my best shot, it's a really, really long pallet and I only have a pallet jack. Okay. So I can't lift the back end of it. It's gonna kind of get stuck. Wait, what do you mean? So we have an issue y'all. We have an issue. <laughs> Delivery guy cannot handle this much tank on his own. He asked if somebody can help. I'm obviously not much of use. So I need to frantically call these movers, figure out if they can meet me like right now. Stephanie, how are you doing? Um, okay, so they're here with the aquarium and they can't like move it by themselves. Is there any way you guys can come like right now? I'm gonna need like four people. It's a really heavy tank. If you give me one second, um probably like five minutes. I'm gonna give you a call right back letting you know uh, that we can come right now. I saw the pallet and I thought, oh, that's gonna be a struggle. Right. And as I started pushing it, I could tell it was gonna be tough. Oh, it's heavy. They said it's like a thousand pounds or something. Yeah, it's like a thousand fifty, I think, something like yeah. that. Yeah. But it's just a fear when this starts lowering, it bounces a little bit. Right. And it's hanging over, so I just wanna make sure somebody can secure it and keep it from falling off as I'm going down with it. Salt water or fresh water? Salt water. Salt water. Oh, Salt awesome. water. I love my corals. I went to the veterinarian's office in high school, and I remember what a tough thing it was to clean the tanks. I know my wife does uh, water changes every Saturday. That's mm -hmm. her Saturday routine now, is a yeah. water change. We have it all sorted now. We're actually going to get this tank off of this truck. So. I still have no idea what I got myself into. Wow. Now that. Right, I'm about to swing. Oh. oh. Good over there? I'm good. I'm good over here. I'm clear of the rent. Okay. Go for it. I'm gonna drop the pallet jack. Not drop it, drop oh. it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> the jack. Are you ready? I'm ready. where I'm thinking of placing the new tank. A few things to take into consideration when you're placing the tank is where you can actually logistically fit the thing. You know, this is a good space that can actually fit the tank. And I mean, it's it's the living room. I mean, this is where people congregate. This is wonderful, I like to have my tank nice on display here. So definitely wanted it in this area. Now, another thing that you should take into account is the amount of natural light that's coming in. If you have too much natural light, especially direct sunlight, it's going to cause a lot of algae in your tank. My concern here was, yeah, look at all this, look at all this window happening here, you know? Luckily, I have these blinds though that totally black out any light back here. So my plan is, is just to shut the bottom shutters, right? And then leave the top ones for a bit of natural light. Now, I'm not really concerned about the light coming in from there because the light in my house primarily comes this direction. I don't think it's going to affect my algae situation much by leaving the top shutters open because I really do like natural light and I don't want to block that whole wall off, right? You know, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we're set there. Another thing to take into consideration when deciding on where to place your new aquarium is definitely the floor, right? Don't place your tank on carpet. Not if you don't want mold. Things get really, really wet. <laughs> Down here, I have concrete floors. Concrete floors are wonderful. Good news there in terms of that. You need to take into account how easy maintenance is going to be as well when you're planning out where to put your tank. This is where my current tank is located. Behind it is actually a nice sink. So that makes water changes pretty easy. I can clean things out back there and take charge of that. So in this case, somewhat close to that water source. It's not perfect, but garage is nearby so I can mix my salt water, wheel it in. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good setup. Take into account space, flooring, source to water and light. That natural light, can't have too much natural light. Gotta move the couch first.
I gotta make the living room, like the fish tank has to fit into the feng shui of my home. I'm not like that fish room type of person. I like my tank on display. But on that same note, it's gotta fit in. So it's really important to me that the furniture still look nice, which is why I'm going through all this hassle. Cause it's gotta look good y'all. You know what? I'm gonna have to arrange the furniture after because anything that I currently do is just gonna have to get moved when the tank arrives. I guess gets pushed through the door. But I made a mess. <laughs> I guess let's just wait for the movers now. This is crazy. Perfect! Yes! <laughs> Guys, the movers are here. Whoa. I could fit inside of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, so there's a courtyard, and I don't, I don't know how we're gonna move past it, but we got this, I believe, in you guys. Disconnect the bottom part. I think so. going much more smoothly than I anticipated. All we have to do is just set it up on Saturday. I'm gonna recruit some friends, and um, if we get, if we're just gonna place the tank over here in that area. I hope I thought that one over, I hope it fits. This is just really exciting. I'm speechless. I'm um, actually speechless. This thing is way bigger than it looked like online. Will it even fit now? That is a question because look at the size of this thing. It's literally the size of my large area rug. Okay, and then look at the space we had designated together. Help, look how big it is. It's the size of my couch. I mean, this thing is way bigger, you know, when I see it here in my living room, but look at that glass. That is some beautiful glass, you guys. Three quarters of an inch, nice. I can definitely, definitely relax in this thing. It's massive. I'm thinking of placing it right here. My only concern though is this plug right here because if anything were to flood, I'm kind of concerned of that, you know, becoming an issue there. But other than that, the concrete floor is perfect, but I am so excited to see this beautiful tank up and running. I mean, look at the quality of this glass. It's just unbelievable. Feels are nice. And honestly, it's just, it's just huge. It's gonna be a big project for me, but I am so looking forward to it. So stay tuned for the next video where I set this bad boy up in this space. It's gonna be wonderful. If you're stocking fish or have a sad fish, make sure to check out this explanation Mike made in the comments on my last video. Super useful information about the medication and treatment process of a quarantine tank. Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate you taking the time to write that out for everybody. Thank you. I solely run off of energy drinks. Yay! So I didn't totally mess up my life purchase. I feel like a doofus because I haven't really played around with them at all because I'm not planning on adding any fish to the quarantine tank soon, but definitely will keep this in mind when I do. Flu